the average person worldwide has 14 Lego bricks in their possession. Some people have more, some people have less, but most kids, particularly in the United States and in Europe, have seen Lego bricks and played with them. So taking a basic medium that people don't think about as being sort of high art and turning it into that is what makes the magic for, for kids. Nathan Swaya was born in the mid-70s. And just like any kid, he had imagination. He enjoyed playing with toys. He drew, he created, but he always went back to Lego bricks. When he graduated from high school, he ended up going to NYU where he became an attorney. And when he was doing the, the work of being a lawyer, he needed a creative outlet. He had never stopped playing with Lego bricks, so at night he would come home and he would challenge himself to build these little sculptures and little pieces and um, try to take everyday objects and turn them into um, Lego versions of them. As his career progressed, he absolutely started incorporating artwork that was more expressions of emotion or abstract ideas. The exhibit is laid out in several galleries. It's one of my favorites. It's the Past Masters. It takes famous works of art that you probably would recognize um, as soon as you walk in the gallery, and it turns them into Lego creations. The next gallery has several creations that are imagination-based and some of his earlier works. The peace symbol, for example, the baseball player, the giant pencil, he's done that in several versions as he's working on proportion and scale. You walk into the next gallery. That one is many human figures and it sort of tells about the struggles of what it's like to be a human. The next gallery has got a couple really fun pieces. One is the yellow man. He's sort of got his face up and he's opened his chest and he is what he is made of, so as he pulls open his chest, all the yellow Lego bricks fall out. It also has a park bench with a Lego recreation that you can sit down and get your picture taken with. And one of my favorite pieces in the entire show is the swimmer, which shows somebody gliding through the water as if they were swimming, but they are only seen from the surface of the water up. Dean West creates digital art, which is made of pixels, and Nathan Sawaya creates pixelated art made of Lego bricks, so they can kind of combine forces. So they came up with narratives for different stories, and Dean West would take the picture, and then Nathan Sawaya would create a piece or multiple pieces to go in the picture that would be overlaid. The vision that he has is one of creating these objects because it is a fulfilling thing for him, but also inspiring kids to create their own objects because of the accessibility of the pieces. Art is science. It's either color theory or it's engineering or it's figuring out spatial dimensions. It's undeniable that the pieces in here are art but they would never have necessarily placed them in that category unless it was presented to them in this way. You were looking at the finished product, but there was so much math and engineering and science that went into the construction of it. <laughs>